In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to bypass the biometric trusted face uh, facial identification that Android uses for multi-factor on many of its phones. Now, first of all, if I can get this to focus, you can see it's a LG G5 phone, which is one of the many models vulnerable to this. Now to do this demo, we have to get a helpful assistant to register trusted face. So they go into settings general, and you can see here they're going to smart lock. They do have to enter their pin code. By the way, don't use that pin code ever. And here you can see trusted face, and they're gonna go ahead and head up, set up trusted face uh, by entering their face, as you can see here. And just like that, they've set up their face to register with the phone. Now, after doing this, you also have options to improve the facial tracking by entering different angles of your face and doing it a number of different times just to improve the amount of angles it detects, which our model did a number of times. So now her face is registered on the phone. Now, just to show you it works, here her phone is locked, pointed away from her, but you can see she's not touching the, the front keyboard, but if she points it at her face while unlocking her phone, now we can see just like that, without entering a pin, it's unlocked and there we're in her phone. Now let's see what happens in an attacker's hands. Right now the phone is unlocked as you hopefully can see here, but I'm going to go ahead and lock it. So if we can get this to focus, you can see I now need to swipe to unlock, which either requires a passcode or because we have trusted face enabled, if I look at this with the right face, I should be able to unlock it. But unfortunately, my face is not the right face. So you can see that this phone is still locked. However, I do have a picture of the person we saw set up trusted face for. So even though this phone is still locked, if I go ahead and point it at this, just like that, we unlock the phone. All I need to do now is swipe and I'm in. Now you might be saying that was a pretty high resolution picture. Well, guess what? I also have a very low resolution picture I grabbed from a social network. So here, if the phone focuses, you can see it is locked again, but now we're gonna have the phone look at this low resolution picture. And even with that low resolution picture, I have unlocked the Android device. So that's how easy it is to bypass trusted face on many phones. In fact, researchers have found that around 40% of Android phones out there, the ones using 2D cameras rather than some sort of three-dimensional mapping or depth mapping of the face are vulnerable to this and you can easily get past trusted face. 